Hi everyone, I'm Marco, I'm from a Fashion Director, and today I'm going to show you all the best functionalities of Tramail Link. Let me show you once on your, your page, first thing, how you can add more team members. You go on team members, you add is here the address of your team member, you select the role, only one person can have can have the owner permissions. The rest of the team will be managers. You just choose the manager and you send the invitation. Once the when your colleague received the invitation, they can have access to your to your page. Now I can show you the share profile information. As you know, Tron Link will do a lot of actions in order to attract buyers, but also it's an opportunity for you to share your nice profile to your buyers. So we thought to a new system that is, is the share profile. As you can see here, you have this icon, you just click here, share profile. You are, you are creating a link. For example, you can call Paris Fashion Week, March 2021. You'll be generate a link that you can directly share by email on your MailChimp if you're using MailChimp or Outlook. And you can share this with your buyers. Once you generated this link, you can also go and check the insights to see who saw your, your profile through this link. As you can see here, we are on the insight page. You go on sharing insights and here you will see the, the link that I just generated today. Here you will see the number of visits when, when, the, when the page has been viewed last time. And, and of course you will have also the list of the people that saw the, uh, the link. Here of course you can again copy the link to Clickboard, disable the link if you don't want to use it anymore or you can just delete it. So again, I show you how to go into this page. You go on insights, sharing insights, and here you will see all the links that you sent. I can show you also, for example, I to disable the link and you will see here, it goes from green to black directly here. Now I can show you another very important functions that is request to connect. That's the most important way for you to get in contact with buyers. You have two ways. First one is go. you go on the search bar. You make your research. You are preparing a sales campaign. You just go, you type, for example, the name of the shop. We created a retailer named Tramoy just because we don't want to send wrong messages to the buyers. Here you will see this icon is request to connect. You click request to connect you see the person that are part of the shop and you choose the person that you want. You will see also if they are buyers, accessories, clothing accessories, head of buyer, assistant, anything. You can send a request very simply in this way or otherwise you can just include a message. For example, dear Emily, I hope you will enjoy, you. I'll enjoy my collection. That's regards. You can type, of course, until 300 characters maximum. And then you send the request. This is the first way. So, and then, of course, it's up to the buyer to approve, refuse, or keep on pending your request. And then you go on your insights. For example, you're checking who have seen your profile. When you go here on insights, you will see on the buyer insights, as you can see who saw your product. If you're not in contact with them, you can just click here again, request to connect. Or if you're already in connection, you can just send them a message directly. This is very important for you in order to get in contact with other buyers that you don't know yet. I'm going to show maybe a little bit more about your insights. Here you can choose if it's for the last seven, 14 or 30 days. You can see how many times your product has been viewed and saved. 
And then you have also the training product, how many times has been improved and saved. You can order, of course, by most few, less few, most saved, less saved. And also as we saw before, the buyer's insights. Then you have your profile activity. You can see how many times your profile, your page has been viewed or followed. And same thing, again, you see the buyers that saw your page. And then same thing for the buyers that are following you. And the last one, as you already saw before, is the insights that you're sharing. Those are the most important functionalities that you can use and we really recommend to use. Keep in contact also with your account manager. We'll be able also to share with you your Instagram reports. It will help you to optimize your strategy, your communication strategy. If you have any question, of course, you can contact on the chat, the chat box that you can see here. Otherwise, you can just contact your account manager. It will be happy to guide you and help you.